Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to take you through how to double the profits in your cleaning business without having to double the number of clients that you have. So if you ask many cleaning business owners, how do you double the profits in your cleaning business? The most common answer would be to you know, double the number of clients, double the number, double the monthly revenue in your business. And, you know, the thought of doing that is, you know, can be, um, uh, you know, a, a significant challenge, you know, going from, say, 10, 10K a month to 20 or 50 to 100. Um, but in, in today's video, I want to take you through three simple steps that we can do within our cleaning business that can double the amount of profits that we generate without having to double the amount of clients that we bring into the business. So what I have here is a very simple um you know, uh, uh, spreadsheet. And it's really just to, to show you like a before and after scenario uh, of how we can double the amount of profit in our cleaning business. So, you know, to take you very you know, quickly through it. So, you know, let's assume that today we are running a, a cleaning business where we're generating $10,000 a month. Um, you know, we pay our cleaners 60% of the revenue, so a 60% labor cost. So 10, you know, out of the 10K, we, we pay 6K to our cleaners. Um, and then the next line is the fixed costs. You know, we pay about 2000 a month on fixed costs. So this will be software subscriptions, it will be VAs, it'll be office costs. Let it, let's add in here marketing, uh, recruitment costs as well. Um, but as you know, running a cleaning business, there are all these other non cleaner specific costs that we need to bear as well. So if we take 10k, take away the, the 6k for cleaners, and then the 2k for other fixed costs, we're left with 2000, um, you know, $2,000 um, profit. And that's actually a 20% profit margin, um, which, is, which is pretty good. You know, many of the cleaning businesses that you know, uh, get in touch with me or maybe running, you know, much lower 10% or even break even. So, you know, at 20%, we're running a pretty tight business. So it, it's telling me that there's not a lot of waste in terms of this fixed costs. In, the, in terms of the cleaner pay, we're at that 50 to 60% labor band, which is where we want to be. Again, if you're above 60%, if you're paying 70% or even higher than that, it's going to be very difficult to make this 20% um, at the end of the day. So, what I want to show you is by making three simple um, changes in our business, we can actually double from 2000 to 4000, we can double the amount of profit in our cleaning business. So let me just take you what through what those changes would be. So the first thing to, to say is that we are obviously living in a, an environment where inflation is very high, you know, you know, wherever you are sort of around the world, 10%, 15% is pretty common. So let's say um, that we uh, put through a 15% price increase for our clients. Um, and, and what that means is that um, if we have the same number of clients paying 10,000 a month, if we put through a 15% price increase, then that means that, you know, the revenue will go up to uh, to 15%. And what I would say is in any normal year where inflation was, say, 5%, you know, obviously putting through a 15% price increase is going to probably lead to, you know, you know, a number of cancellations, lots of clients questioning the price increase. But inflation as it is at the moment, you know, I would expect the vast majority of our, our clients to uh, to accept a 15% price increase. So if we in, uh, put through a 15% price increase, that means that um, our revenue goes from 11 from 10,000 a month to 11,500. And the other thing that we can the, the second thing that we can do is rather than paying our, our cleaners 50%, uh, sorry, 60% of the labor, we can pay them 50%. So 50% um, times 11,500 is uh, 5,750. So what's that that's telling us is that, you know, if, if we had a job uh, that was, you know, a $100 job, we'd pay our cleaners $60 uh, beforehand, whereas, um, you know, with a 50% labor, it would be $50 out of that. So it's a, a slight tweak. So we're, we're, we're increasing the, the prices slightly for our, uh, our existing clients, we're reducing the amount that we're paying our our cleaners from that 60% labor to 50% labor. And then the third thing that we can do is uh, try and find $250, uh, $250 in terms of savings. So, you know, the, the first thing that I always say is look at your monthly subscriptions, you know, software subscriptions, are you using all of them? 
Um, you know, are you maxing all of those out? Many of those softwares you can, you know, downgrade if you're not using the subscription fully. Uh, many of those subscriptions you may not even be using at all. Um, you know, the, the other thing that you can also look at is, you know, am I paying, you know, have I got an office lease? Am I paying a monthly um, fee to have an office or a storage area? You know, can we tweak that? You know, many, um, you know, people assume that the price that you pay for any of these things is fixed. But often if you go and get in touch with these companies and say, you know, we're, we're looking to, 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 to um, you know, to reduce our costs, we don't necessarily want to cancel. Can you give us some money off? Many of these services will actually say, that's fine. You know, we will, you know, we will give you some reduction. And if you're getting even say a 5% reduction across all your costs or many of your costs, you would be able to quite easily save this money. So, you know, by by looking at your your costs um, and, and you're getting in touch with these companies to, to see that if you can make a reduction, you know, it should be fairly simple to make this $250 uh, reduction here at the end. So if we make these three changes, what we find is that we double the amount of profit. We go from 2,000 to 4,000. So, you know, 15% price increase on 10,000 is 11,500. Rather than paying 60% labor, we pay 50%. And rather than paying $2,000 in fixed costs each month, because of these savings, we're, we're making $250 savings. So that goes down to 1,750. So if we take these costs away from the revenue, we actually get to 4,000. So we have doubled the amount of profit in our business without doubling the number of clients, um, you know, that, that we have in our business. And when, whenever you, you know, I take people through this uh, simple exercise, they are, you know, very, very surprised that we can double the amount of profits by just making these few tweaks. And this is really down to something called operational leverage. Um, and, you know, you know, whenever you have uh, various costs within your business, you know, if you can make savings and all these costs, make a few tweaks here and there, you can actually double the, you know, you can make a large percentage improvement in your profit. So this is what we have done here. Um, you know, this is obviously a very simple model, um, you know, and, and the reality may be slightly different, but what I'm trying, what I'm hopefully getting through to you guys is that you know you can make a big you know improvement a big increase in the profits in your business without having to make a very big increase in the number of clients that you bring on every month if you put through a, a you know a price increase if you tweak the the percentage that you're paying your cleaners if you make some savings at the fixed cost level these these relatively small uh, changes here you know, in isolation, they add up and it all trickles down to the bottom line, to the profit line. And this means that, you know, you can make a big improvement in your in your profits. So, you know, you may not necessarily double the amount of profits, but you could easily get a, say, a 50 percent, 70 percent increase in your profit margin if you are making these these tiny changes here. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys. Um, you know, if you've got any questions, just drop me a comment. Um, and if you found the video helpful, uh, please you know, click subs subscribe. That really helps me. Uh, and it also notifies you of future videos that I do. So anyway, I'll leave it at that. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.